assassins tried to kill the High King. They murdered Queen Gerhild. Our poor king must be devastated. The princess, too. Finally. You know how long I've been standing here? I've been standing out here for the better part of... three-fourths of the contents of this mug. Don't you know it's rude to keep people waiting? <laughs> Why, indeed. Svana wishes to speak with you in the Lonely Troll, and she's banished me from the place until I find you. <clears throat> she's been terribly depressed since the events at the palace. Even refuses to drink with me. <laughs> you can imagine such a thing. Not specifically, but I'm quite sure it has something to do with fulfilling her promise to you. She's adamant about pleading the case to the High King. Anyway, I've done my duty. Now I can go back to my favorite location. The tavern. Oh. Well... Thank the gods. If I had to sit in here one more moment without a drink in my hand, I'd lose my mind. But I promised myself I wouldn't touch this stuff. Not a drop until this Ice Reach Coven business is finished. I do. I know you and Lyris have risked your lives for my kingdom, despite being met with suspicion and contempt. You counted on my mother to be your advocate, to convince my father the threat is real. I'm no substitute, but I'll speak for you. <laughs> My father hasn't listened to a word I've said since I was old enough to talk. But with Mother gone, someone has to make him see reason. She tried to teach me, you know, but I never paid attention. I guess I'm more like my father than I thought. That makes it even more important that he heeds your warning and takes action. All of the holds are in danger. Hothingar. Hjalmarch, Karthald. My father needs to do something before another storm strikes. Meet me at the Blue Palace, all right? I, uh, I just need a moment to think about how to approach this. Consider the words to use. My courtly manners are a bit rusty, and I've never been much for diplomacy and fancy speeches. <sighs> Shores bones, I could use a drink. Wish me luck, Mog. <laughs> Forget luck. I suggest a slug of Kindle Pitch whiskey. You'll need it to stand up to your father. You would have me spread my forces across the realm to search for nightmares you dredged up from a bottle? It's not. Or should I say, the whispers of eastern vipers tickling your ears? But mother... Enough! Then next you come before me to vomit up your counsel. Make sure it doesn't stink of treason. the man. He wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. Mother always knew how to talk to him. Me, not so much. Mother had a way with father, but she could be just as stubborn. If she wanted something done and he wouldn't oblige, she'd do it herself. Time to take her lessons to heart, I guess. If my father won't take a stand, then I suppose it's up to me. 
Our kingdom consists of three holds. Hafingar, Hjalmarch, and Karthalt. I need to warn them. The Jarls might listen, even if my father won't. I'm the daughter of the High King, after all. Time to start acting like one. Will you come with me? We should visit Jarl Redharn of Hjalmarch first. If we can convince him of a threat, at least his hold can take steps to protect itself. We'll find him in his hall in Morthal. I'll leave word for Lyris with Mog so she'll know where to find us. We're too far apart. Not much long range. Lucky Mog passed along your message. I would have hated to miss all this mud. Why does the Princess of Solitude grace my humble hall with her royal presence? Are you here on behalf of the High King? I've come to warn you, Jarl Redharn. Warn me? I already received orders from your father. What more is there to say? Orders? Uh, right. But you need to prepare the hold's defenses. And what must we defend ourselves against this time? More urns and fetishes? Please, Jarl Redharn, let my friend explain. The threat to our holds is worse than you can imagine. Well, that didn't go too badly. Tell the Jarl what we're facing. Hopefully, he's willing to listen. Hmm. You're not the subject of this realm, and that woman with you. She's the giantess of the East. The High King warned us to beware of packed spies. If Princess Svana trusts you, however, you have my ear. Tell me about this threat. We're not Daedra worshippers. Our blood's hot enough to boil a blizzard. And we've got more pressing concerns than some northern squall. We received Svargrim's orders, promptly ignored them, and immediately ran afoul of a gaggle of Reachmen. The High King sent a royal decree, said to leave any strange objects or fetishes we spotted around the hold alone. They were dangerous, he said. It just so happens we found a few. I had my soldiers destroy them. That's when we encountered the Reachmen. The barbarians reacted poorly when we destroyed the strange witch sticks. We beat them back and chased them into the nearby barrow. But that was the last I heard from my soldiers. Since you dealt with this before, would you investigate the barrow? If I were a few years younger, and had more soldiers to spare, I'd march east to the Morthal Barrow and deal with the sorceress nonsense myself. But I'm not, I don't, and I have other responsibilities. Take this key. It will get you into the Barrow. See that mound? That's the barrel. The entrance will be down below. Keep back! The barrel is unsafe. Jarl Redharn sent us. What happened here? Reachmen, let's talk if you want details. You, sir, the barrel is off limits. We are here to make sure nothing gets in or out, and we'll do so by any means necessary. I did not want to spare the soldiers I had left to send a message. We destroyed a number of strange sticks set up on the outskirts of town. Then we reached the barrel. We spotted a few reach barbarians. I sent word and we charged after them. A storm appeared in the barrel, if you can believe such a thing. It was foul magic, almost certainly. Soldiers began changing around me, dying or falling into a stupor. Some turned into monsters. And then, the Draugr clawed out of their graves. We never made it that far inside. And when the storm hit, 
It was all I could do to get out and seal the door behind us. If the Jarl sent you, and you're intent on entering the burrow, I won't stop you. But if you emerge as a monster... Soldiers. A meager harvest. This grey reliquary must be moved to more fruitful fields. Protect the witch pike. Do not let them destroy it. Tell the Yarrow what happened to him. If I never have to enter another barrel, it will be too soon. No sign of that witch or the reliquary she ran off with. We should get back to the Jarl's Hall. We saw the last stand of what could have been a much larger attack on Morthal. The witch pike in the barrow was the only one that wasn't destroyed before they performed the ritual. Soldiers were caught in the Harrowstorm, but the town was spared. That's what happened in Kilcreath after the storm hit. I'm more curious about the witch, though. Why was that grey reliquary important enough for her to grab it and run off as soon as she spotted us? Come on, let's go talk to Jarl Redharn. And then Mog threw up all over this sword thane's boots. <laughs> ha! This orc friend of yours sounds... Ah, your companions return. Well, friend of Svana, are you as good as your word? Tell me what you discover at the Morthal Barrow. A harrow storm. Like the thing the princess was telling me about? The thing that destroyed Kilcreath? Gods! A pox on the reach and its barbarian horde! What else? What about the Reachman in the barrel? Disappointing, but not unexpected. 
Reach witches are a tricky lot. Still, you have my thanks. In the meantime, Yalmar shall prepare for war. We may not have a defense against the Harrow Storms, but we can be ready to attack once we have a target. With you and Lyris's help, we've gained the trust of Jarl Redhorn. My father respects the Jarl. That will go a long way in convincing the High King to take the Coven's threat seriously. Now we need to do the same thing at Carthold. Jarl Ulfwen rules the Hold, which was established to provide a defensible border against the Reach. If any of the Western Holds can deal with this threat, it's Carthold. But first, I have one more thing to discuss with Jarl Redhorn. Jarl Redhorn, prepare your forces as you say, but we need you in solitude. Solitude? I have troubles here in your march. Why should I leave when my hold needs me? High King Svargrim won't listen to us, but he might listen to you. Get up, Princess. If you think it will help, I'll talk to your father. Lyris, please escort the Jarl to solitude. Of course. What about you? We need to warn Jarl Ulfwen, so we're going to Carthage. each other apart right in front of me stay inside stick together we'll we'll take care of this these people they're from Carthwatch. they might be all that's left of the town they say it was a storm powerful devastating it engulfed the entire town it had to be a hero storm that's the only explanation there could be other survivors Maybe even Jarl Ulfwen. 
We need to make a search. Let's hurry. Every second we waste could be the difference between life or death. Bones, why me? Too bad you arrived so late. Your life energy would fit perfectly in my reliquaries. Uh, ah. They come. Protect the Grey Reliquary with your lives! I need a moment. Let's talk over there. Did all this death serve some dark purpose? Sorry. Guess I'm not completely used to the fighting and all. That urn, though. The Grey Reliquary. The witch was adamant about protecting it, gathering it up. She said something about our life energy. Oh, gods, I think I know what they're doing. Remember what the witch said as we approached the town. This time we'll harvest all the Grey Reliquaries, she said. That our life energy would have fit perfectly in the urns. I think the Herostorm steals life energy and puts it in the reliquaries. If the Jarl is still alive, she can take care of herself for a while longer. The witch hasn't gathered all the reliquaries yet. I say we get to them first and destroy them. I won't let these bastards profit off the destruction of Carthwatch. Like us. Breaking these things won't bring my people back. But the same goes for the Grey Host. Stay back! Don't make me! Oh, you're not one of the witches or their monsters. I... I thought this was the end for me. I barely have the strength left to conjure a light breeze. Wait a moment. Is that Princess Svana? I'm Magister Fridelia. I serve Jarl Orfren as her court mage. I've been fending off witches, vampires, and these crazed villagers since the chaos started. There was a storm, definitely magical in nature. It turned our own people against us. I... I'm not sure. I sent the Jarl into the cellar when the storm began, when I still thought it was just a bad storm. Please, go downstairs. Make sure the Jarl is safe. Cartold would be lost without her. The cellar. Jarl Orfwen is in the cellar. Make sure that she's all right. Jarl Orfwen! No! I, I need to go. Please, recover the crown of Cartold. We can't leave it down here. Sorry, Fidelia. 
Jarl off went. She's... That's the Carthol crown. Jarl Olfwen's gone, then? I failed her. Harrowstorm? Is that what you call what happened here? Why I didn't turn into a monster is a mystery. Wait. The Hold soldiers clashed with Reachmen scouts a few days ago. They brought back these medallions the scouts were wearing. Yes. I was preparing to study the enchantments I detected upon it when the Harrowstorm struck. I guess I slipped it into my pocket without really thinking about it. Could this be some sort of protection against the storm? <sighs> God, watch is gone. No people, no Jarl. The seat of the entire hold wiped out, just like that. I have to get my father to take action! I need to get back to the Eversnow and gather the survivors. Take them to Solitude, where they'll be safe. At least as safe as we can make them. Then I have to have a serious talk with my father. I'll make him listen to me, damn it, no matter what! Return to Solitude. Find Lyris and meet me in the Blue Palace. I have a room upstairs that we can use. We need to come up with a plan. Something that will help me convince my father to act. <laughs> Magister Fridelia, as the high... This way! They're worse than drunkards after the mead hall closes. Shh! Don't mock the cursed! You'll call a hex down upon us! Glad to see you're alive and well. I was getting worried with all the herod they've been bringing into the city. They've been taking them to the Temple of the Divines in Castle Dower. I suppose it's really the only place to care for them in their condition. Jarl Redharn gave him an earful the moment we entered the Blue Palace. Nord politics. It's a wonder to behold. One step removed from a barroom brawl. I'm disappointed they didn't start slugging each other, but it worked out in the end. Damn it. I was afraid of that. We're running out of time and we still don't fully understand what we're facing out there. Hey, where's the princess? Tell me you didn't lose Svana in Carthwatch. Assassins tried to kill the High King. They murdered Queen Gerhild. Our poor king must be devastated. Svana, I know, would leave all this bother behind. Come back to the troll and let the royalty deal with this. I am the royalty, Mog. It's time I started acting like it. Welcome to the princess's chamber, my friend. I don't remember the last time I spent more than a few moments in here. Anyway, Jarl Redharn and Magister Fridelia are here, giving my father an earful. Thanks for helping me at the holds. No, but we saved Morthal, and stopped the Coven from getting the Grey Reliquaries at Carthwatch. And we brought the hold leaders here. All of that matters. Take this, my royal allowance. I was going to buy wine, but you can make better use of it. <laughs> 